But let's get to let's get to Herschel Walker. In a one on because Herschel Walker made extensive comments on the abortion allegation. Okay. I'm supposed to be playing with Myth. I don't know where he is though. I, I I think he was he was supposed to be here like a long time ago. And I don't know where he is. Maybe out of respect for the combo that we were having, he like didn't actually come. He didn't actually pull up. But we'll see. Oh he oh no. Oh, he was, he didn't, okay. No, he was not at the door. Okay. He's here? That you started debating? I just, I just texted you, Myth. I just texted you. Myth said he was waiting for the top of the hour ad break before he gets in. Fuck. Well, that's a perfect time for him to get in because at the top of the hour, inside of your two wolves, you fake commie ass grifter dog shit moron motherfucker. You're so you're also kind of borderline teetering on what most people will say is socialism. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, chatter, you got me. Okay, you fucking own me. Are you happy? Yes, at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for five dollars or for free with the Twitch Prime. Okay, here's the woman ad break now. Let's get to Herschel Walker. On one interview in his hometown of Lightsville, Georgia, Herschel Walker providing his most extensive comments about allegations he paid for an ex-girlfriend to have an abortion in 2009. Why not reach out to her? And if why, why should I? Why do I need to? NBC News has now spoken to that former girlfriend who provided us with what she says is a copy of a $700 check that Walker gave her to pay for the abortion and a receipt from the medical center in Georgia where she alleges it took place. NBC News is not revealing the woman's identity or the documents to protect the privacy of all parties, but we did show a copy of the check to Walker who said the allegation he paid for an abortion isn't true. This is still a lie because she's the mother of my child. So you're going to see me a check or somebody giving a check. So that, that I'm saying it's a lie. Do you I know what this $700 check is for? I have no for? idea what that can be for. Is that your signature I, on the oh, check, though? Let me see. It could be. But it doesn't matter whether it's my signature or not. When pressed, Walker said definitively for the first time, the check is his. Yes, that's my check. Why should voters believe you in this? Voters moment, should believe word. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. He has also faced allegations of domestic violence from multiple women, including his ex-wife and his 23-year-old son, Christian, a conservative influencer. Yes. He said, and I'll just quote for you, you threatened to kill us and had us move over six times in six months, running from your mm. violence. You have said you love your son, Christian. Right. Just... For the voters who want to hear an answer to the allegation about yes. violence. Okay, I Is that say, true? I'm what should people voters, know? I would say I love my son, Christian. I love my whole family. I'll always love them and stuff. That's what I say for my son, Christian. And I don't have any violence. Walker has also faced criticism for embellishing statements about his academic and business records and ties to law enforcement, highlighted by his opponent, Senator Raphael Warnock, in their debate. I've never pretended to be a police officer. <laughs> And, and, and I've, never, I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Walker then brandished what appeared to be a badge. And you know what's so funny? I am with, with many police officers, <laughs> and at the same time... We asked him to explain that moment. And where's this right. one from? This is from my hometown. This is from Johnson County, from the sheriff of Johnson County, which is a legit 
badge. The Johnson County Sheriff confirmed to NBC News he gave Walker an honorary badge, which allows him to help with community support in a crisis. Georgia is key to determining which party controls the Senate. While walking on the Wrightsville field that bears the former football star's name, Walker... That's so funny. That doesn't make you a cop, man. Walking around with a Paw Patrol Sheriff badge. And we have to act like that's real. <laughs> Little bro thinks he's part of the team. Yeah. Half of Hassan's chat is on hormone blockers. <laughs> 14%. And not hormone blockers, but HRT. Walker revealed former President Trump called him after the debate. Did he give you any indication, just to put a fine point on it, that he will be here in Georgia for you campaigning for oh, you if, to if help I, you bring if, this if, home? If I need him, uh, he'll come. Now, there was another debate in Atlanta last night, which Walker did not attend, citing disagreements with the format. We did ask Senator Warnock for an interview, but he declined. His campaign, though, sent us this statement overnight, which I will read, saying, quote, this campaign will come down to who is ready to represent Georgia, and it is clear that is not Herschel Walker. Hoda. And Kristen Herschel Walker also did weigh in on the fact that former President Obama is coming to campaign in Georgia. That's right. High stakes, Hoda. Former President Obama is set to campaign in Georgia next week with control of Congress at stake. I asked Walker if he's concerned. Will this impact the race? He responded defiantly, saying he's ready to fight both Senator Warnock and Mr. Obama. Hoda? All right, Kristen. He uh, means literally. You, mention. you can see more of Kristen's exclusive interview with Herschel Walker tonight. On he's NBC like, I'm a cop. News. I could do it legally. At 4 p.m. Eastern on NBC News Now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite. He's like, he's like, he's trying to throw down, dude. Like when Nixon gave Elvis honorary FBI badge and he went around doing insane shit of flying to Denver for weird sandwiches, not an actual cop. How dare you? Fox News executive.